Hey guys, this is SF and welcome to Impossible Mondays and this week it is going to be a color and basically I want to show you some newer-ish monsters that can do really well in a color but Max Luck is Alien Grady of all version and then New Monster, Ultraman and then Loki for the other one for Transcension for Transcension and I haven't done a video of color with Loki, the new Transcension so I think that would be a nice uh, add-on to this video and Impossible Mondays is all about using newish monsters on and see how well they do in Impossibles and my friend is also going to be a relatively newish monster but it is Succubus and uh, she has a flight and a low gravity barrier 8 turn knock and 8 turn bash and knock up it's very strong actually it's really really strong and then homing destruction 8 for the bump combo and let's do this. So it's mainly see how well Ultraman and Loki do in this dungeon. Uh, clearing the loop is probably really good for the two of them. But the only difference is the only thing that really matters is the pinching. And hopefully I can pinch well. Okay. And there goes that zombie right away. Okay. Yeah, I'm just whittling down the enemies while clearing off the zombie. It's not that bad, actually. And there is the mines, but with Ultraman's sub bump of blast, I can proc Loki's bump combo. And Loki has a has a bump comb, has a blast bump as well, so he can so Ultraman can proc his own bump combo as well. So it's pretty cool. Those two really work well together. Good. And there goes that first loop. Well first loop is relatively easy anyways. Okay, next is Ultraman. But it's fine. I cleared that dude. Next is Loki. I'm just going to go straight for Ultraman. And nope. And let's see. Succubus. Hopefully I can go down to the bottom zombie to finish him. Nope. But the two... Mobs went away with the zombie, so that's good. And it's all about killing the bottom zombie. Because the top zombie is already dealt with with Loki. It's just a matter of the other zombie. And after that loop is done, then there goes the mobs with just a bump of Loki. Okay, next is the harder one. The harder one is, I guess it's hard because of the range, but with Ultraman's EX laser can hit, it can hit both zombies uh, very very easily. And it doesn't like one shot either one of them, and look, <laughs> and look, <laughs> bye bye all the mobs. And now it's just a matter of hitting Loki and Ultraman, and that should be the end of this loop. Man, this is going way too well. And now I just got a position for Loki or some of my monsters. Because I want them to be on the left side of the map for the next stage. Okay, Loki's in a bad spot. I'll probably end with Grey and then... And then... Ultraman can probably get a pinch onto the left side if I hit it right. Oh, that's an ugly spot, actually. But that is fine, actually. I'm just gonna go left, right. Next is Loki. I just gotta be careful of the zombies because these zombies have a one shot on their bottom left. 
Bad thing about Loki is the pinching on the mini boss stages because they do nothing. He can't really do anything unless he's actually at the pinch. And let's just use Succubus. It is an 8 turn bash. And what's the thing about her strike shot, her bash strike shot, is the knockout itself. It's not the actual bash damage. It does 500k for the bash, and ouch, that made her directly vulnerable to the. Uh, what you call it? <laughs> made her directly vulnerable to the EX there. That was bad shot by me then. I'm just gonna strike shot here. And that will end that. That was just a bad shot. I didn't really notice the EX laser coming up. But either way. Next is pinching the right Akala first. Good. There we go. That's how you do it. And then I just proc Ultraman for bump combos. Ouch. Next is Succubus. So I'm just gonna just randomly hit Loki and Ultraman and they should do fine. Ultraman is also a blast type so his EX laser is a lot stronger than, the, than most of the other ones. I think power wise is a little bit less than a normal EX, but it re re uh, rebounds more. It rebounds and then so it hits more enemies. It's easier to hit more enemies and stuff like that. And of course, Ultraman has the recovery, so it recovers my HP as well. Now, boss time. Boss time. And first stage is basically hitting Loki and Ultraman. Next is Succubus, and Succubus is ready for her strike shot. Let's just use it for the hell of it. Now actually, I'll try to aim for the zombie to clear off the zombie loop. That would be really cool. Oh, got the zombie. And there goes that zombie loop. Now I'm free to... do whatever I want with the wolves. And only Loki gets hit by the cross, I think. Oh. Even Loki didn't get hit by the cross. Well, that's GG for the first bar. And of course, Succubus' strike shot comes back in, in another round. After her, uh, in about 1.5 rounds. Next is Loki, gonna hit for the bottom. For the legs. Okay. This is where Loki kind of falls off, in my opinion, because... Unless you position for the pinch, then he does pretty much nothing, except for the bump combo. Okay, next is Ultraman. Ultraman... I'm gonna just grab the heart. I don't want to finish off the clone yet. So let's just go to this side. Because he is going to recover and he... He prioritized the clone first, or the mob, but he doesn't prioritize himself. And then Succubus, why not? Found JK, still not enough though. But that's fine. I can start off with Ultraman for a strike shot. And if you see my Monster of the Week video, I horribly missed that strike shot, but this time, hopefully I won't miss it. Okay, Ultraman time. Let's go this way. Ultra Slash. Not bad. I wouldn't say the best, but it's good for mob clearing. And now I'm just pinching the clone and stuff like that. Let's go for... The clone is relatively low, so I'm gonna go for the boss instead. I don't want to clear off the actual clone. Because that just means that I have to deal with a full HP Akala. Wow, that pinched up! Next is... Ultraman. Get under there, that's good. And clone comes back up. 
And then pinch the clone. Ouch. Not enough. Not enough. Next is laser, which is really bad actually. I have to actually grab the heart or else I won't die, I think. But it's so hard to grab the heart from here. Mm, I'm just gonna try to hope that Loki's bum combo will do the work. There we go. Okay. Whew. And I did get a pinch there, so that's good as well. That was a little close, but it works fine. Uh, Ultraman's strike shot's only good for mob clearing, I guess. It's not really good for damage towards the boss or anything. And I got basically the whole suite of drops. A call out and the divine shard. And about 9 minutes, um, and it included me like explaining a lot of stuff as well. So you can go it really fast and probably like 7 minutes or under, which is really, really fast. Uh, the Ultraman and Loki does really good work on the zombie loops. That's why you can go really fast onto Akala, so you can bring those two for a good farming team, and then the other two can be like farm farmable monsters for max luck and stuff like that. But uh, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.